Everyone, um, before we get started here, I just want to say sorry about each side of the recording. There's like black lines there, I wasn't sure what to do about it. It's a different type of recording, and uh, that deal just there, uh, nothing I can do about it. If I try and make the screen bigger, it just like zooms itself in. If anyone knows how to fix it, then please let me know, because it's happened a few times now. Uh, like when I do just like my webcam things on the road, and it always does that. So, yeah, anyway. Apart from that, enjoy. Alright, hello everyone and welcome to Medieval, so, uh, well, I'll explain in a minute, you just need to pay attention to the story. You don't have to, but here you go anyway if you want to, you know what it's all about. Here you go, it's probably got a better a chance of explaining long ago, it. There lived in the kingdom of Galomir a sorcerer named Zarok. This arrogant, pitiless man hated his fellow citizens for their simple and peaceful ways. So he raised an army of demons and set out to take the realm for his own. The king's champion, Sir Daniel Fortescue, led the militia into battle against this unholy horde. Songs are still sung of how he spearheaded the charge deep into the accursed multitude, how demons fell before him like wheat before the scythe, and how at last, though mortally wounded, he destroyed the sorcerer utterly. Fortescue went down in history that day as the hero of Galilee, and a time of peace began, which was to last for a hundred years. And then, the sorcerer returned. Basically, the sorcerer returned. Phew. Oh yeah, this is the next. This is a court scene this time though, so yeah.
Alright, so uh, that's basically the opening thing. So, there's some things I need to explain. Uh, I'll start off, this game it was like my childhood game. This is what basically, uh, before I was born, like, my family played this game, and then I was born into it and started, and then I had to go it when I was like four years old. So, it brings back some memories. It's gonna be a huge nostalgia trip for me, and I thought I'd play it to, well, just show you what what my childhood was like and what I used to play. So um, yeah, here we go. I suppose I, this is on my PS3, by the way. I'm gonna start a new game. I played it before, obviously. I played it probably last year now, but that was the last time I did it. So that's pretty good. The episode's probably gonna last quite long as well. Uh, I'm not gonna cut a lot out unless I die, which probably won't happen. Anyway, here you go. Alright, so let's just get on with this. Uh, oh wait, we've got more. It has more risen in. again. Sir Daniel Fortescue. See? The hero of Galomir who fell at the first charge. The fog of war and the shrouds of time conspire to turn the arrow fodder to the saviour of the day, but we knows better. <laughs> Let it alone. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance to forget the ignoble truth. A chance to defeat Zarok and live up to the legend. We hopes it does well. So you basically learnt the story of medieval in seven minutes. So wait, what? Oh wait. Okay, I need to change it to analog mode. That's why. Right, that's better. All right. So with this, you press circle to jump and X to hit, which is weird for me. So we get the life bottle, so we have more uh, life. So I'll read through all these so you know. I mean, I understand the game, but just in case you don't get it. So during your travel through the world of Galamir, you'll collect many items to look at your inventory, press the light button on the controller. So if I want to change weapons or get whatever, then you've got that. Uh, you must be out of shape after a hundred years, I on your bike, use a crypt to get to grips with your new lease of life. When you enter leave this crypt, you'll find an exit at the end of the hall. To unlock the gates, you must find a rune stone and place it in the ornate land hand set next to the doorway. Okay. So, uh, what's this? Whoops. Whoops. Do a power attack, hold the X button on control. I said X even though it says square. Like, I mean X on the Xbox button. For a second or two, then release it. So. Uh, feel free to have a paddle in the shallow wall, but don't be tempted to go for a swim. Buoyancy can not be a problem for those of a dead disposition. Let's jump over it. Get some money. Oh, look, I've got. 10p. Any treasure that you find, go into your coin score display in the top right of your display. Coins used to buy items from the greedy merchant gargoyles. Right, found copper shield. Yeah, this is a lot of nostalgia right here. So, the quality is going to be bad. It does look like very cool. This is in 720p. It is actually in 576p50. It looks so much better on a. Uh, my MacBook than it does 
on me actually playing with those, so I suppose that's not a bad thing. Track down Zara by retracing this his diabolical odyssey through Galamir, you can spot the exits from an area by looking out for its stinking trail of magic slime. It's a stinking trail of magic slime, alright. Headset's crackling and everything. One of the wires are broken in, it's doing my head in. Alright, so, uh, yeah, like I say, this is probably going to be 15 to 20 minutes long, each one. So, uh, yeah. Sorry about that, because I, there's no point in me cutting it out. And the only time I'll cut it out is if I die, so. Yeah, um, this is really... There's hands on the floor. They come from the second medieval, actually, from the sequel. I might play that, but you can't get the second one on uh, PS3, so I have to get some of the other record PS1, I suppose. Uh, Welcome back to your beloved Galamir. The stinking dead have risen up to dance with the lifeless living, and they want to do it over your dead body. Okay. Watch out! So, uh, yeah, we've got to make sure that we collect everything. Uh, I'll try and read all of the uh, note things so you know what's going on. Sometimes I might miss them, it just depends. I mean, I might just stop reading them when it gets later on, when you know everything that's going on, you know. Because they do take a lot, they do take up quite a lot of time, and I do want to actually get some gameplay going on. Oh, by the way, that in the top corner is a chalice. Uh, basically, you can get no let zombies get you down, turn those room by step into this mountain rejuvenation. All right, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you get 100, percent you can collect the chalice, and that basically gives you another weapon. Uh, anyway, you'll see. Because I'm gonna get the chalice, obviously, on all of them, because yeah. You know, I know quite a lot about this game, you see. You fall. Alright, uh... I'm out online there. this. Remember nothing remains hidden under the gaze of an angel. It's basically a riddle but I know what you have to do. You basically have to get the back of it. That's how you get, that's the chalice by the way. So uh, I'll read it. The object here is chalice every time you dispatch an enemy. The chalice fills a little more. Once the chalice is full it is yours to collect and you'll have. You'll be worthy of visiting the sacred hall of heroes to claim a prize. So it might not necessarily be a weapon, but it'll be something. Alright, so the way we want to go is... This way, because you actually get a, uh, a life bar here. It's best to collect as much life as possible, especially for, like, the final mission. You know. It's always good. So I might have to return here sometimes to get more uh, health, because later on I'll definitely need lots of it, so... I won't do yet, but, you know what I mean, alright, let's try and get all four, go up, alright, so we've got the, uh, enough for the chalice now, so we'll collect that, like so, so it don't really matter about killing enemies anymore, now you got 100%, nothing else happens, I'll read that in a minute, by the way, Alright, we're only 15 minutes in, so hopefully I'll finish this, and then we'll carry on next episode, because I don't want to go over recording, because that'll really suck, you know, but, uh, I'll hopefully get some more levels in. The only thing about medieval levels is they're really long, which isn't a bad thing, but the living world lies beyond the school gates, master of the hilltop mausoleum, the stained glass demon has possession of the school key. So we're gonna have to get that pretty soon, we'll have to come back here. 
trust me, I know everything about this game. Um, this is the one game I can say I know everything about. So, uh, I don't use daggers very often, so I will buy ammo. Actually, I'll show you anyway. Sorry, that's what it sounded like. Uh, I'll show you anyway for future, but basically... See one of these heads. You just get supplies, so you can get more flowing daggers, but I don't need flowing daggers, so yeah. I don't use them. I just use a sword, and you get better swords. I do use a crossbow, but we haven't got that yet. We get that, I think, when we get the chalice. So I get the chalice, and then I'll end the recording. Right, we need to get to the end without taking any damage. Then we've got full health for next time. Tread softly. Zarek awaits beyond these gates. The master meets with the demon from the mausoleum, hatching plots of purest evil. Forgotten nobodies would be wise to make themselves scarce. Okay, whatever that was about, let's go. Alright, we'll get to Hall of Heroes, because that comes up now anyway, so... Alright, so the chalice will be quite hard to get on some of the things, just letting you know. Welcome um, to the Hall of Heroes, where the bravest warriors from history spend eternity feasting, singing, and arm wrestling. If they think you're worthy enough, you may be able to persuade them to give you a new weapon. Okay. <laughs> I'll only have to read this once because I don't think it'll change. To pay homage to heroes standing in front of their designated statues and always Alright. Canny Tim. Captain Fortescue, it's me, Canny Tim. Does the battle go well? Not too good. How I wish I could fight at your side again, sir. But hold, you could take my crossbow. It's got rapid fire and you can ricochet the darts off walls to shoot around corners. I used it at the Battle of Galamir. After you were slain, I shot Zarek's champion, Lord Kardok, a clean kill through the eye at some thousand yards. Yes. Not that there's anything clever about shooting someone in the eye, sir. I don't think I've ever pressed no. Oh. Goodbye, sir. Okay. So we got the crossbow, which is good. Alright. I might make the episode last longer next time, I'm not sure, I need to really read, have a look how much space that took up. I think it's taken up like 1.5 gigs, so it's probably just best to end the episode here and carry on next time and hopefully get more done. But anyway, I'll save it and yeah, I've got to overwrite some of my data. Oh yeah, Semage Hill comes up next. Save progress. Which one do I overwrite though? I forgot. Uh, yeah, we'll go with Graveyard, right? Okay. So, anyway, next time we'll go on to Cemetery Hill and Hilltop Mausoleum. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Medieval, anyway. Uh, and until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.